Hello, hello. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good night, teacher. Good evening. Hello. ¿Qué tal de jueves, guys? All good? Yes. So, so A I'm lot good. of traffic jam, teacher. Ah, All jam. the city. Ah, no. Es que yo huele diciembre, right? Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Hay que, hay que aguantar un poquito. <laughs> All right. So, guys, here we go. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. Let me share with you here. Okay. So, today, tenemos mucho que hacer, guys. So, nos vamos para la plataforma, please. Nos vamos de una vez. So, here we go. <clears throat> I can turn right. And today we go to the part of uh, the practice. The, let me check. Let me see. Let me see you. 1.13. Let's check here. Estamos todavía en la sección 1. Sí. En la 1.13. Sí, sí, en la 1.11. En la 1.11. Ah, this one. Ah, sí, sí, la hicimos. All right. So now this one. All right. Good. Ya avanzamos por ahí. Good job. Okay. So we are going to start with this video. So please pay attention. And here we go. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Okay, what are we going to learn? Vocabulary about what? Special days. Special days. Special occasions, right? Or special days. All right, here we go. Mother's Day. Father's Day. The first one, Mother's Day. What is that in Spanish? Ah, ah, exactly. Father's Day? Dia del Padre. All right. Graduation. Graduation? It's the same. <laughs> Graduation? Graduation? <laughs> All right. Wedding. Wedding? It's the boda. Okay. Wedding. Anniversary. Anniversary? Anniversario. All right. Send cards. Give presents. Okay, so now, for example, send cards. What is that in Spanish? Send cards. In Spanish. Uh -huh, in Spanish. Send cards. Una tarjeta. Uh -huh. Enviar tarjetas en general. Porque tenemos la S, right? Si decimos give presents in Spanish... Dar regalos. Uh -huh. All right, let's continue with the others. Take pictures. Take pictures. Fotografía. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sing songs. Fotografía. Sing songs. Música. Cantar. Uh -huh. That one. Cantar uh -huh. canciones, right? Uh -huh. Dance. Dance. Bailar. Uh -huh. Bailar. Eat cake. Eat cake. Comer galleta. El pastel. Okay. pastel. <laughs> All right. Uh, cake. Have a party. Have a party. Una fiesta. Fiesta. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Hacer una tarde de de paseo, no sé. Ah, like cuando decimos picnic, ¿qué nos imaginamos? Ajá, en la in the country, right? Okay. Eat special food. Eat special food? Pupusa. Comer, comer <laughs> All right. Special food pupusas, right? Good. Okay. Comida especial, right? Probablemente que no comemos muy a menudo. Wear special clothes. 
Wear special clothes. Wear special clothes. La vestimenta. Palabras especiales. Yeah. La vestimenta especial. Right. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so what are we going to do? You complete this activity. We have to select, for example, vamos a seleccionar una de estas special events or special occasions. So we have, for example, here, Mother's Day or Father's Day, cualquiera de las que tenemos ahí. Y vamos a seleccionar. In this case, for example, Tenemos aquí give presents. En, si usted seleccionó Mother's Day, ¿daría regalos en Mother's Day? Sí. Yes, probably. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. Entonces vamos a ponerle aquí. Ok. Es algo que haríamos en Mother's Day. ¿Qué más podríamos hacer en Mother's Day? Um, mm -hmm. Eat the special food. Ok. Yes. Let's see. Eat, eat special food. And we can say maybe someone said have a party, yes? Yes. Okay. So like that, for example. Entonces, take ¿qué vamos pictures. a hacer? I take pictures too. Okay, so we can write like this, utilizando going to, como ya empezamos a, a practicar. So we are going to say I, mm -hmm, I am going to... Y luego, ¿qué vamos a agregar? La special occasion, right? I'm sorry, de la, la activity que vamos a hacer. So, in this case, we can say, I'm going to give presents. I'm going to give presents. ¿Para qué fecha es? For Mother's, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. For Mother's Day. And then... Otro que seleccioné, take pictures. Entonces digo, I'm going to take pictures for Mother's Day. Like that. So you have to select. Seleccionamos dos y vamos a hacer nuestras oraciones. And then, se la pueden mandar ahorita la del ejemplo en el chat, guys. So you can have them. And now let's go here. Vamos a ir a la Share your work in our discussion forum. Discussion forum. Abajito. Ya tenemos aquí dos. Vamos a dar añadir publicación. And the same. Lo mismo que hicimos el día de ayer. Vamos a, a escribir acá nuestras oraciones. Y ponemos nuestro nombre. In our case. Right. Y le damos a enviar. Ok, so you hit on send. Y ahí nos va a aparecer. All right. So let's go. We have two minutes to finish. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to share here so you can see. Para que puedan recordar las activities. If you have questions, please ask. Okay. Si tienen dudas con algo de la indicación, siempre pregúntenlas. All right. Tell me, Jenny. Um, teacher, una pregunta. O sea, es que ahí en la plataforma siempre hay que escribir el nombre de uno y después las oraciones para enviar. 
Eh, en este tipo de, de, de donde le damos discusión, eh, fíjese que según veo no me aparecen los nombres en alguno. Entonces por eso le ponemos el nombre, por si no, no aparece. Ajá. Solo para ah, verificar. Sí es, sí, es que por ejemplo yo no le pongo el nombre, sino que por lo menos yo puse ay celebrete. Así, ah, ¿verdad? Un título nomás. Ok. Ajá, si le agregamos el nombre sería mejor solo para asegurarnos que ahí está, right? Para saber de quién es. ¿Mm? Thank you, teacher. Ok, good. Ah, let me see, Flor. Tell me. Una pre pregunta, teacher. Ya está. Eh, ¿En qué página vamos? Perdón, he estado en una clase y no me podía conectar. Ah, ok. Estamos en el punto, en la sección 1. Estamos en el punto 1.13. Here. Okay, donde gracias. dice word power. Uh -huh. Gracias. All right, good. ¿Y cuántas oraciones tenemos que escribir, teacher? Only two. Only two. Solo una. Dos, nada uh -huh. más. Yep. Solo dos. Only two. Y de ahí le damos send. Yes, please. See here. Vamos a ver quién ya lo enviaron. Let's check. Right, good. I am. Let's see. I'm going to dance in the party for my friend's graduation. I'm going to give a present. I'm going to give presents for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat a cake with my family. I'm going to eat, to eat sandwich for the day. I'm going to give presents for my mother's day. For mother's day. All right, good. Okay. So now let's check. All right. We have, let me see, five. Okay. Good. Let's check one more time. Let's say updates. All right. So now we click here on next. Le vamos a dar abajo, siguiente. And we have the other objective. And then we click on next again. And we have a question and we have a reading. And it says, what are you going to do on your birthday? What is that in Spanish? What are you going to do on your birthday? In Spanish? Eh, ¿Cuál es tu fecha de cumpleaños, no? La fecha. ¿Qué te harán en tu cumpleaños? Ajá. To do, right? What is do? ¿Qué harán en tu cumpleaños? ¿Qué vas a hacer en tu cumpleaños? Exactly. What are you going to do? So now we have here some activities that they are going to do on the birthday day. So let's listen. Some countries, I know it's the opposite. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. Okay, so what is the article about? The que trata el artículo, guys? Mm -hmm. De que dijo celebration. Birthday celebration. De tu ciudad. Celebraciones de los cumpleaños en diferentes ciudades. En diferentes países, right? Different countries. So pay attention. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. What is her name? Elena. Elena, Elena right? My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi. Okay, so what about Elena? What is the tradition? Let me, let me go back. Okay, so we have Elena Buenaventura from, where is she from? from Madrid Madrid right so what is the custom qué es lo que ellos hacen dice acá 
go yeah. out with what? her friends. Ajá. ¿Y qué, qué le van a hacer los amigos en this case? ¿Qué dice ahí? Pull on her ear. Ajá. And what is that? If you do this, right? Ajá. So what is that? Pull on her ear. Ajá. Le van a jalar. De ah. las orejas, right? Okay. So, that is the custom. And she says, ¿Ellos son bien? ¿Cómo son sus amigos? Dice ella. Como tradicionales. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very traditional. Mm -hmm. All right. Nunca había escuchado sobre eso. So, interesting. Let's go to the next one. The next one is about... Pull on the see. ear just once. But my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching She. Okay, the next one. What's her name? Yen Ching Shang. <laughs> All right. And she's from <laughs> Taipei, right? Taipei. Taipei. Okay. Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay. So what is she going to have for her birthday? Yeah, probably the money. Money familia. Uh -huh. uh -huh. They're going to uh -huh. have the first a thing? family ceremony. Uh -huh. And then she's going to get what? Money. Money, money, right? And she says, lucky envelopes. What is that in Spanish? Lucky envelopes. Suerte. Si tiene suerte en los sobres, en los regalos. Okay. Lucky envelopes sería sobres de la suerte. Uh -huh. Sobre. Sobres de la suerte. So maybe son algún tipo de sobres, right? Específicos. And then she says, noodles are? For a? Long life. Long life. What what are noodles? What are noodles? Do you know? Mm. Noodles? Fideos? I don't know. Uh -huh. Fideos, right? Y comen fideos para tener una vida larga. So that's interesting. All right. Let's go to the next one. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the... Okay, what's the name of the birthday? Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Aoki. Uh -huh, that's the name of the of the sir, right? The nombre del señor. Okay, but in this case, ¿cómo se llama cuando cumplen 60? 60 years old. Uh -huh. 16 years old. ¿Cómo se llama esa celebración? Kareki, no. Ajá, Kareki, right? All right, let's continue. Beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Okay. So, what do they give for the, as a gift? ¿Qué dan de regalo ellos? Huh? Something red. Ajá, something red. Porque dice, representa nueva vida cuando se cumplen los 60 años, right? And then, ¿qué dice? ¿Cuál es la tradición? Hmm? ¿Cuál es la tradición? The children are going to give... Um, de un niño, no sé. Regalo en vest. Ajá. A hat. A hat and a vest. Ajá. Le van a dar, dice, un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Un sombrero, sombrero. y un chaleco, right? Un chaleco no. rojo. Entonces ahí los niños son quienes le dan los regalos a los que cumplen 60. All right, interesting. Philip Jolie. Okay, the last one. Philip Jolie. Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. 
In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. <laughs> All right. And what happens People in take this you case out. with I feeling? I will light up, shall I <laughs> uh, What uh, He's saying what? What happens in, in the birthdays in France? ¿Qué hacen en Francia? Según lo que él dice acá. Invitan gente. Ajá. A cenar. El, 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 el que cumple años invita a la invita gente a, a celebrar. Él se tiene que hacer su fiesta. Ajá. And you know what? Aparte de eso, también el que cumple años tiene que darle regalos a sus invitados. <laughs> so it's the opposite, right? Estamos al revés de, de cómo lo hacemos nosotros aquí. All right. So now let's go here to the, let me see. All right. We are going to hit here. It's 1.15. Let me check. Hi, where is it? Okay, le vamos a dar en la siguiente. Y ahí ya tenemos la knowledge check. Okay. So in this case, okay, we have the instructions. Siempre que leer instrucción, right? Read the article, then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. Vamos a buscar información o falsa o verdadera, right? So now, the first one about Elena Buenaventura. <laughs> uh -huh. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to Pull her ear 21 times? Uh -huh. True. True or true. false? True, true, right? Okay. Now, Yang Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday? False. Uh -huh. Why is it false? Because no va a cocinar? In... her mother. Her mother exactly. is going to cook. Okay, good. And now we have on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. It's true. Oh. True, right? And then the last one, Philippe. Philippe's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. False. False. All right, good. Él los tiene que invitar, right? So, La France. Okay, so now we hit on send. Le damos enviar, please. Me confirmo Teacher, si ya está. Ya está, me. Solo, solo una sí. cosa, porque a mí se me cierra la pantalla uh -huh. cuando me meto a la plataforma. Entonces, no puedo ver, por estar en la plataforma, no puedo ver lo que se está haciendo. Ah, all right. Si le da a minimizar a Zoom, no le aparece la pantalla de Zoom en chiquitito mientras ve lo demás. Eh, al principio sí lo tenía así, pero no, no sé por qué, pero se me, se me cerró después. Ah, all right. Ok, ajá. Puede probar usualmente cuando está, abre Zoom y quiere salir algo más, tiene que minimizar la pantalla y ya le aparece en chiquitita y puede ver el celular. Vaya, ajá. solo que, bueno, vi todo lo que estaban haciendo ahorita, solo... Mm -hmm. Solo lo voy a... Solo voy a responder y después envío. Okay. Griselda, dígame. Eh, good night. Good Hello. evening. Eh, yo tengo esa misma eh, dificultad con, como le expresaba el compañero anteriormente. Este, ahorita a mí me le están dando mantenimiento a la computadora, he tenido problemas. Entonces lo estoy haciendo desde el celular y eso me ha dificultado un poco porque si cierro, este, si quiero estar con las dos plataformas al mismo tiempo, se me cierra una o la otra. Entonces estoy un poquito atrasada con las tareas, pero yo espero que mañana o este fin de semana poder solventar eso. Ah, eh, okay. Pero esa es la dificultad que he tenido. All right. Si gusta, no sé si todavía sigue apareciendo, pero eh, podrían darle captura a la pantalla de Zoom. Ah, de repente aparece como un error, un mensaje que dice que no se puede por privacidad en algunos celulares. Pero I'm not sure. ¿Podrían intentar tal vez con captura de la pantalla? ¿Como eh, una opción? Eso he estado tratando. Ok. All right. Ajá, para, para mientras, right. Sí. Ok. 
All right, good. Okay, now let's go here next. Ya le di, ya le di enviar. Okay, good. Entonces, All right. Hoy es, ah, the next, in the next. Ajá, next. Y le vamos, yeah. y vamos a abrir donde dice word power parts of the body. All right. Pero si le doy siguiente, eso no me parece nada más. En la parte de abajo, si le da siguiente, no le sale la otra sección. No, termino eso, en, ya envié, uh -huh. le doy next. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, no, le, no le aparece esta pantalla. Ah, permítame, voy al Zoom. Uh -huh. No. Parts of the body? No. no, solo me parece, solo me parece el párrafo que dice que al final de esta clase ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir sobre las partes ah, del cuerpo. Otra vez, next. One more time. Next. Mm -hmm. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Es que siempre aparece el objetivo de la lección y después aparece el contenido. Siempre hay que darle oh. doble. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good. Wow. All right, guys. So we are going to learn parts of the body. So pay attention. Vamos a practicar pronunciation. So bueno, let's go here. Ahorita no vamos a trabajar. Eh, ahorita quiero que vean Zoom, ¿ok? Luego vamos a ver la plataforma. So let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Okay, so let's practice here. Let's see. The first one, head. What is that? Head. Uh -huh. Then eye. Only oh, one? Eyes. Uh -huh. Solo uno. Si lo digo los dos, ¿cómo sería? Eyes. 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 Ajá. Pero solo uno, eye. Ajá. Then ear. Ear. Ajá. Nose. Nariz. No, no, no es no sé, right? It's nose. <laughs> All right. Right. And then we have mouth. 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 Boca. mouth boca. Todo, right? Mouth. Luego tooth. Tooth. Dientes. Dientes. Only one. Tooth es uno. Un diente. Ah. Si digo teeth. Teeth. Dientes. 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 Ajá, en plural. Pero solo uno. Tooth. tooth. Ajá. Tooth. Luego teeth. Uh -huh. All right. And then we have chin. 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 Mentón. Fijada o barbilla. Uh -huh. Fijada, barbilla, mentón, right? <laughs> All of those. Chin. And then we have mm. wrist. 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 ¿Qué es eso? Uh -huh. La muñeca. <laughs> La muñeca, right? Yeah. Si digo arm. Brazo. Oh, brazo. Uh -huh. Si digo elbow. Codo. Codo, Codo. Codo right? Luego, throat. Garganta. Ajá. Neck. Cuello. 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 Ajá. Luego digo back. Espalda. 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 Shoulders. Hombro. Hombro. Shoulders. Ajá. Hombro. Si digo solo uno, shoulder. Ajá. Y de ahí viene el nombre del, del head and shoulders, right? El, el shampoo. <laughs> ok. And then chest. Pecho, pecho, stomach, ya más abajo, stomach, uh -huh. stomach, okay, and then stomach. thumb, dedo, no, this one, pulgar, ¿Cómo se llama ese? Uh -huh. pulgar, thumb, pulgar. Uh -huh. this one, thumb, si digo dedo. hand, mano, mano, si digo finger, dedo, dedo. Dedo. No estamos hablando de sí. los nombres. Luego los dedos tienen dedo. nombres, right? Pero aquí en general, ajá. Dedo, cualquier dedo, ajá. Finger. Finger. This one? Finger. Finger. Thumb. Thumb. La pronunciación, recuerden, TH. Thumb. ¿Cómo decir? Zapato, right? Thumb. 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 All right. Luego tenemos leg. What is that? Leg. Leg, yeah. pierna, pierna. pierna. Uh -huh. knee, knee. rodilla, rodilla. rodilla. All right. Luego tenemos, let's see, ankle, pie, no, tobillo, tobillo, and then foot, foot, pie. 
foot, pie, pie, pie. pie en singular, solo uno. Si quiero decir pies, es feet. 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 Ajá. Igual que diente, tooth feet. y dientes, right? Teeth. Igual los pies. Pie uno, foot. 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 Y en plural, feet. feet. Ajá. Y el de los pies, el de los pies, toe. 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 Le decimos a los dedos de los pies son toes. toes. Si digo uno, un dedo del pie, toes. Si yeah. digo dedos de los pies, toes. Toes. Uh -huh. toes. All yeah. right. Okay. Now pay attention to the pronunciation. Vamos a escuchar el audio. So we can practice. Let's go. Ear. Ear. Nose. Mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, Finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head then pointing to your arm and saying this is my arm remember the goal is to learn this vocabulary so do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words all right so now let's practice one more time Pero do ahora, this. por lo menos lo que lo que vemos en la pantalla <laughs> vamos a hacer de aquí para arriba right okay so now this is my head. Repitan conmigo y hagan la mimic. All right. This is my this head. This is my head. This is my hair. This is my eye. This is my eye. This is my ear. This is my ear. This is my nose. This is my nose. This is my mouth. This is my mouth. This is my tooth. This, this is my, my teeth. These are my teeth. These are my teeth. These are, are my teeth. 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 My uh -huh. All of them. <laughs> Todos, right? And then chin. this is my chin. This is my chin. This is my chair. This is my uh, my shoulder. This is my shoulder. My shoulder. This is my back. This, this is, is my back. back. My back. This is my chest. This, this is my chest. This is my chest. This is my wrist. This is my wrist. My wrist. This is my arm. This is my arm. This is my arm. This is my elbow. This is my elbow. This is my elbow. This is my throat. This is my throat. This is my neck. This is my neck. This is my thumb. This is my thumb. This is my hand. This is my hand. These are my fingers. These are my fingers. Ay, good. So, questions about pronunciation? Alguno que les haya quedado la duda? The pronunciation? Oh, easy? Pizza? Okay. Okay. No questions? All right. Very easy. Super easy. No right? question. <laughs> okay, good. Until so now have... we are going to go to the next part. Le vamos a dar en next. All right. And another one next. Otro next. Hasta que llegamos al que dice 2.3. How plus noun plus, sorry, plus noun or feel plus the adjective and conversation I feel homesick. What is homesick? Somebody knows? Isn't it homesick? Huh? Homesick. 
Menú, no sé. Homesick. Que, que extraña su casa, right? Homesick. Mm. All right. So now let's listen to this one. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. <laughs> But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Right. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can. Okay. Before we continue, we are going to practice pronunciation. Okay. Vamos a practicar de los negative adjectives. So repeat after me sick. 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 Awful. 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 Terrible. 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 Miserable. 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 Now the possessive ones. The positive, sorry. Fine. 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 Great. 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 Terrific. 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 Fantastic. 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 All right. Now let's go here. Follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Okay, so now in the first one, ¿cuándo utilizamos esta fórmula? Cuando aquí estamos preguntando, what's the matter? What is that in Spanish? What is, what's the matter? ¿Qué te pasa o qué tienes? Ajá. Y matter es un sinónimo como decir problema, right? Problem. Matter viene siendo sinónimo de problem. Igual que decir what's wrong, que está mal, cuál es el problema, what's right? Wrong. What's wrong. Entonces, aquí vamos a describir poniendo subject, luego have. What is the meaning of have in Spanish? Dolor de cabeza. Have? No, only have. Yeah. <laughs> Solo have. have. ¿Qué significa have? Tengo. Tener, right? Y luego, uh -huh. ajá, y luego utilizamos los uh, demostrativos a o an para decir un. Uh, o una. O una. Y luego ya decimos, en este caso, el problema, right? Que sería un padecimiento. So, the first one. Headache, headache, dolor de, dolor de cabeza. de cabeza. Si digo backache, dolor de espalda, right? Y si digo the flu, gripe o flu. Ajá, la gripe, right? Ya todo el mundo le ha dado la flu. <laughs> All right. So now let's see COVID. the examples. Yeah, I know. COVID 2.0. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. 
the subject is I, then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun. Flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. <coughs> okay, the first thing here, bless you. All right, what is the thing here with feel? What is the meaning of feel in Spanish? Sentir, sentir. Uh -huh, sentir, right? In this case, we say, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? How do you feel? ¿Cómo? Te sientes. ¿Cómo te sientes? Right? Entonces, en la estructura, hacemos lo mismo que la anterior, pero en vez de have, de tener, digo, me siento. I feel. Right? I feel. Yo me siento homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Mm -hmm. Estamos hablando de sentimiento. Right? Let's analyze the example. I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective. Homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick. Awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Okay, so vamos a escribir uno de cada uno. Para el primero, ¿cuál es la estructura? I, and then I have, I have. I have. y luego tengo que poner un nombre, right, de algo. Ah, algo, dolor de estómago, dolor de garganta, dolor de cabeza, right? Ajá, entonces acá sería un noun. ¿Mm? Es un noun, es una cosa, right? Un dolor que usted pueda sentir. Y en el feel, ¿qué vamos a hacer? I feel, yo, yo me siento. Yo me y luego tiene que ser un adjetivo. Ajá, y ahí tenemos eh, negativos y positivos. Yo me siento... I enfermo, right? Sick. I, I feel, feel great. Sick. I feel great. I feel happy. Yes. Entonces, I adjectives. I feel sad. So, así vamos a escribirlos ahorita en el espacio que tenemos acá. En el... Oh, let me see. After you finish this activity, share... Ok, lo vamos a compartir acá en Añade una publicación. Right now. Una con I have and the other one with I feel. Okay, so two sentences. I have and I feel. So let's go. Le damos añadir publicación y escribimos la dos. All right. Let's go. Only two. Yes, only two. Tenemos dos minutitos, two minutes to write them. Okay, let's check. Oh, 
satisfied. The fantastic, I think. Okay. No sé si estoy en así, teacher. Let me see. I feel fantastic. Good. Awesome. I have a backache. I feel great. I have a backache. All right. Good. Solo tengan, eh, solo tengan cuidado cuando, el, cuando escriben la palabra. All right. Por ejemplo, backache uh -huh. no, lleva, no lleva la H antes de la A. All right, but good. Quiero ver, let's see. Let's check here. Let's see, one, two, three. I only have seven. So I siete y tengo veintiuno here. <laughs> let's go, guys. Jenny, dígame. Eh, sí, teacher, yo voy a responderla después porque como yo solamente estoy con el teléfono, no ah, okay. estoy con una computadora para hacer ambas cosas, entonces yo después respondo. Si es ah, posible. all right, all right, good, yes. Thank you. Sí, si gusta, le toma captura para que tenga ahí el, el, el backup de lo que vamos trabajando. Uh -huh. Right, good. Recuerden que siempre hay que interactuar en la plataforma por lo mismo del requerimiento de Insaform, guys. Don't forget. Y aprovecho el, el, el comercial, right, <ríe> para recordarles en este caso, no se les olvide, el día de mañana tenemos clases, ¿ok? Solo la otra semana ya regresamos a, a horario normal de lunes a jueves, pero mañana sí tenemos clases. So please stay here, ¿ok? Aquí los voy a esperar a la misma hora. Este era el comercial. And now we continue. <laughs> All right. So now, guys, we hit on next. Le damos al siguiente. Y ya vamos a ver el último eh, topic. Bueno, en este caso, el último examen que tenemos acá. Okay. So it's a listening. Vamos a poner atención. All right. Dice, listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? O sea, ¿a dónde? ¿O okay. qué le duele a estas personas, right? Bueno. Luego, there might be one or two correct answers for each conversation. O sea, de repente va a haber una o dos respuestas que van a estar bien. Hay que pay attention, right? Okay, here we go. Pay attention to this one. Page 80, exercise 4, listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Oh, wait. All right. So for the one, uh -huh. what, where do this, uh, in the case of Ben, ¿Qué le duele a Ben, guys? Head. Which, which one? Head? Only head? Head. 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 And also? Throat. The throat, right. Okay, good. And now let's go here with Alison. Let's listen to this one. Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. All right, what happened Three. to Allison? Uh, back and uh, elbow. elbow. <laughs> All right, they're yeah. back. And the elbow. Los tacones, maybe, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. 
Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, what Four. about Jeffrey? What happened? Tooth. Only the tooth? Only the tooth? Oh. <laughs> All right, good. And now the last one, number four about Marta. Let's pay attention. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, so what about Marta? I is grease. Grease. In the hand? Wrist. The hand or the wrist? Wrist. wrist. Okay, the wrist and the? Wrist and eyes. Okay, and the and eyes, eyes, right? All right, good. So we click here on send. Vamos a revisar, right? All right. Ah, you did amazing. Awesome. Yes. Good job. So questions, guys, about this one? ¿Alguna duda para los que eh, solo están acá y no están en el otro lado? <laughs> no están en la no. plataforma. No, no questions. Okay. Uh, question, no question. Uh -huh, tell me. No questions. Okay. Now I need you to practice this one. Vamos a practicar la conversation. Solo dejen a lo regreso. Share your work. Okay. This one. Vamos a practicar pronunciation. So now, what this one? ¿Sí se ve bien la, la letra? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. So now, let's practice this one, pronunciation. So repeat after me. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? How, How are, are you? you? How are you? Oh, I'm not so good. Oh, oh I'm not, not so good. good. I'm not so good. Actually. 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 Why? 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 What's the matter? What's, What's the, the matter? matter? Well, 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 I have a headache. I have, I have a, a headache. headache. And a backache. And, and a backache. backache. Okay. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe, Maybe you have, have the flu. flu. No. No. I think I just feel a little... I think I, I just a little homesick for Japan. For Japan. That's too bad. That's, that's, that's too bad. bad. But maybe I can help. But maybe, maybe I can I help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese. Let's have lunch, have lunch at the Japanese restaurant. 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 That's a great idea. That's, That's a great idea. idea. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Brian. I feel better already. I feel, I feel better, better. Ready. Already. 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 All right. So now, do I have volunteers, voluntarios para ser Brian and Kanichi? Me? El que me diga mi primero. Me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Edwin, y luego escuché una voz femenina. Me. Who was it? ¿Quién dijo me? ¿Quién dijo mí? Bueno, como nadie quiere, entonces yo. <laughs> Se puede sacrificar, right? <laughs> All right. A la, segunda, a la segunda ronda, ¿ok? Vamos a empezar con Edwin, luego nos ayuda usted. All right. So, Edwin, Brian y Kenichi, Nancy. All right, let's go. Hey, I am Brian. Yes. Ok. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a back and a backache. 
Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's okay. have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel very ready. All right, good. So now repeat with me. Palabritas vocabulary. Japan. 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 Idea. 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 Already. 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 Good. Now, Edgar, Brian. Y let me see. Uh, 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 Kenya. Let me check. All right. Ah, Lorena. Okay, sorry. So Lorena is going to be Kenichi and Brian Edgar. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not too good at toilet. Why? What is the matter? Well, I have a headed and a back headed. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little. Um, how many things for Japan? That's too bad. But maybe I can't help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great, a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Oh, very good. good job. So now let's practice pronunciation, okay? Practice with me. Homesick. Homesick. Butt cake. Butt cake. See, only that. All right, good. Another volunteer. Los últimos to finish me. El primero que me diga me. All right, Kenya, Brian, and Kenichi, Beatriz. Let's go. Hey. hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm um, not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache, um, but Kate. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. All right. Good job, girl. So now, let's practice here. Vamos a ver. Una de las más uh, complicaditas, maybe this one, right? And also this one. And this one, too. Another one. Let me check. Beater. Uh, this one, right? Uh -huh. and already. already. Restaurant. Okay. <laughs> restaurant too. Okay, so the first one, headache. 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 Then, uy, so, headache. <laughs> All right, the other one, back cake. Back cake. Back cake. Back cake. Back cake. The other one, homesick. 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 This one, restaurant. 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 This one, better. Ese sí es tal cual. Better. 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 Si dice bitter, eso es amargo. So better, mejor. Uh-huh. Beer amargo. <laughs> so better. Uh -huh. Better already. 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 So let's practice one more time. Ya para ir terminando, guys. Let's see here. Okay, the first one. Headache. Headache. Backache. Homesick. Home restaurant. Restaurant. Better. Better. Already. 
Already. Already. Ay, ah, mm -hmm. you're saying good job, guys. And now remember, mañana tenemos a la misma hora en el mismo link, right? So practice in the platform. Los que no han podido eh, eh, practicar ahora, por favor, terminan ahí la tarea. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. So good thank night. you guys for staying. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank See you. you. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good evening, people. Bye. Good evening, people. Bye.